California's when you talk about freedom, people doing whatever the fuck they want to do, that's in California. Unless you're conservative. I'm just saying, but 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 tell me that there's not a more open, free, love who you want to love, marry who you want to marry, do what the fuck you want to do, smoke the weed you want to smoke, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Right. Tell me, tell me California's not the place for that. So how that's a yes and Okay. It's a yes and. Okay. It's a yes okay. and. If you're on the correct side of the political divide, it's the most free you could be, right? Yes. If you happen to be on the right side of social issues, and it's like, oh, hey, you know, when I go to the gun range, I like to shoot a gun and not, I have two broken thumbs from boxing. Um, I It's a pain in the ass to fucking reload magazines. So when I reload magazines, I want to do it as few times as possible. But in California... If I want a magazine that has 20 rounds in it, that is, I'm a felon. I could legitimately go to jail for having a magazine that has 20 rounds of ammunition in it. I have to buy different magazines than the rest of the country that only has 10 rounds that go into the magazine. And so, so it's, it's stuff like so, that that's so, like, this is ridiculous. So to that point, I am a, like I said, I'm a gun owner, Second Amendment supporter. You don't need a fucking hundred round drum. What's the you difference? Don't, you don't need a thirty round clip. What's the difference? What's the difference between thirty and twenty five? Well, what's the difference between basically a nine plus one and thirty? Okay. You go. You want to go shoot up a movie theater or a high school? There's a difference. So to me, when I talk about like gun regulation, I'm talking about things like that. But what happens to the point that we made previously, when I say gun regulation, you and, you know, not no, you, me, you can, you can point directly no, at me. You say, oh, you want to take all my guns away? Never said that. Obama was president for eight I, years. I would say that, by the way. Obama was president for eight years, right? How many guns did you surrender to the federal government under Obama? I surrendered zero, zero. guns. But... But, but in but California, he would have, is that no, what you're going to say? No, no, he but, would have, <laughs> but in California, and I've now moved out of California. So I can say this in California, I purchased three firearms legally in California under their crazy mishmash of yeah. laws, where if I went to a public range and shot those guns today, I would be a felon. Yeah. I don't think you should be a felon. I just think those, that, that a, Hundred round drum or a thirty round magazine should not be for sale. You want you want to hear the most morbid thing ever? Sure. So most of this comes from school shootings, right? So it's like a school shooting happens, and there's immediate course, immediate call course, for gun reform because like having little kids shot is horrible. Have you ever shot an automatic weapon? No, I have. I, I okay. have. Okay. So in auto, I'm gonna I'm gonna I love them. I love shooting them. By it's the amazing. way, they're fa they're fantastic. All right, so I'm going to give an education to people: who don't shoot guns. An automatic weapon is you depress the trigger one time, and it's Brrr. like Brrr. all the grounds are yes. gone. Right? In Vietnam, the army got away from fully automatic rifles. What what people will now call the M16 or the yes. AR15. It was the it was different then, but whatever. Yes. Okay, so in Vietnam. The, the army got away from automatic weapons because what they realized is soldiers in the heat of battle, these are trained soldiers in the middle of a war zone, would get so scared, they would put their gun up like this over the berm, they would pull the trigger once, and they go, 30 rounds, gone. Gone. In eight seconds, four <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Uh, Chris, look this up. What's the cycle time on an AR-15, an automatic AR-15 for 30 rounds of ammunition? I'm going to guess it's 30 seconds. So you go, 30 rounds are gone, right? So they went to either a single round semi-automatic, which each time you pull the trigger goes boom, boom, boom. Or the AR-15s in the army had a three-round burst. They burst, yes. So you pull the trigger once, go da 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 Yes. Because what they found is that automatic weapons were less reliable, they were more likely to jam, and yes. it was way less likely you were going to hit I the target. I do know this. Because yes. if, you, if you shoot an automatic weapon, you go... And, and as it, you do that, brrr, the barrel rises yes, 100%. and you don't shoot your target. Okay, Chris, what'd you find out? Depends on which rifle is using the 0 .30 dash 06 round. The 0 .30 06 round uh, with automatic firing is at a rate of 500 to 650 rounds per minute. Jesus. The, since, yeah. the, since the AR-15 is a semi-automatic rifle, it is much shorter, the 500 to 650 rounds per minute. Nobody controlled the trigger that fast. And then the M16... 
is forty five to sixty rounds a minute semi automatic. Okay, so, there you go. So if you if you go if you go automatic, you can shoot all the rounds in your magazine in about two or three seconds. All right, so let's go back to the school shooting. You have a school shooter. He has one magazine with thirty rounds in it. He takes the automatic weapon. He goes, and the the first of all, he can't hit shit because he's not a seasoned, a seasoned military shooter. And the barrel rises. He's not going to hit shit. A semi-automatic weapon actually makes a school shooter more, more effective because he goes, boom. Oh shit! I gotta re I gotta retarget and pull boom, the trigger. Yeah. Boom! Retarget. So so you as a fourteen year old not seasoned Navy SEAL with an automatic weapon and me with a semi automatic. The rules that we've put in place around guns by outlawing automatic weapons and only allowing semi-automatic weapons, we've actually made school shooters more effective. Yeah, that 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 could be a fair point. So I, it's my, crazy. I ag ag agreed with that. My only point is that I only want him to have nine plus one in the chamber. I, 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 we'll go in the garage. I'll show you how quickly you can I change know, out a magazine. I understand. I'm just saying, like, one of the things that... Again, I'm, I'm a JFK guy. Back in the 60s, when JFK was pushing for Medicare, he gave a speech that I, I have the video of it on my phone. And he said, this bill will not solve all of our problems. And he said, we did a, a housing bill for seniors last year. And people said, that, that won't solve all the, all the problem for all homeless seniors and he said we did some other bill and they said that won't solve our problem all the problem and and then he, he finished his speech and he said is that any reason why we shouldn't try so my thought on policy was my thought on Obamacare it's my thought on clean energy you know the green new deal any policy that comes across the desk of the United States Congress or the president. It's impossible a country this size to sign one bill to solve all of our problems. Is that any reason why we shouldn't try? Let me give you my version of try on the gun thing. Okay. Forget this silly clip that and make that. Uh, uh, that's a, a good. Tic, that, a that's a good. Post. That's a good. That's a clip. That's a good <laughs> clip. We're gonna. We're <laughs> two hours and forty seven minutes in. That's gonna be a good one. Um, all right. Here's my thought on guns. The, the, the incremental, because like I would have more respect for Democrats if they would just come out and be like, hey man, eventually we want a full gun ban and first we're going to do magazines down from 30 to 20 to 10 and then we're going to say AR-15s have to have this special safety and then I would just have more respect for them. I like, understand. Hey, we don't believe in guns. We're going to incrementally I understand get rid of that. All right, cool. So here's my Republican thought on this because I think gun ownership is a right and people frequently fuck up the responsibility. They do. So when these parents don't secure their firearms and then their kids go shoot up a school and they're like, well, we can't prosecute the parent because they've already been through so much. Right. Their kid was right. killed by the cops and they right. were a mass. No, fuck that. You didn't secure <laughs> right. your firearms. You should go to jail for the rest of your life. Um, so my thought is pass whatever screening process you want. If Scott's got to uh, treat it more like a pilot's license, uh, Sam Harris, beautiful. Sam Harris said this on his podcast. You could kill somebody pretty easily by getting a plane as a pilot and not knowing what you're doing. Yes. So, uh, you know, 120 hours of training, uh, a psych eval, uh, a, a stringent licensing process, uh, background checks. You got to update your continuing education every five years. I have to take more continuing education every year to do your mortgage than I have to do yes. to own a firearm. Agreed. That's crazy. Agreed. So make it in. I, I got to take a psych test, a background check. You got to come. You got to come check my house to make sure I have a, a safe to properly yes. secure my firearms. I've got to like renew for the license every five years. I've got to do some public uh, service. I've got to register it like you do your car. That's fine. And most places you have to actually. Yeah, that's kind of I know. I know. I know. Um, I have to pay for a annual insurance policy, hundred bucks that goes to something so that if my kid does shoot off somebody's foot, they're taking care of all right. that stuff. Right. Once I go through that, if I want to own a fucking rocket launcher, you have to sell me a rocket launcher. Sure. Like there's just there's no restrictions because we have the Second Amendment. You want to make me jump through some holes to execute my Second Amendment right because you need me to have more responsibility? Awesome. But once I prove to you that I have that responsibility, if I want a tank in my driveway, <laughs> you have to sell me a tank. <laughs> like, that's that's the rule. Listen, so it's funny because we agree on this issue. This is what I wish 
Democrats and Republicans in the United States Congress could do. Because you and I could come up with a gun safety bill, whatever you want to call it, and find common ground. Right. 